that I just poured some water on my windshield <clears throat> to take all the ice away and lo and behold it formed ice again. Hi friends it's Jen and uh, today I'm going to do my uh, $75 a week grocery haul. Um, most likely I'm not going to go to the bakery outlet. I have about two and a half loaves of bread still. A half loaf in the pantry and uh, two in the uh, freezer so I think I'll be okay on bread and um, I may pop into the salvage grocery store just to see what they have they don't open up in, until another 45 minutes but I'm definitely going to um, food for no food max I'm going to food max today because food max between food max and Winco I like those stores, mostly Winco. However, Food Max puts out a sales ad, and um, their chicken breasts are 99 cents a pound, Foster Farms brand. So um, I'm going to go take advantage of that. And um, I don't think I'll be needing anything else from Winco. I'm pretty good on my cream of wheat. Okay, so here we go, friends. And again, everybody's home, so most likely I'm not going to you know, show my groceries and talk about it on on video. I'll probably show it to you in the car like I normally do. Okay, friends, here we go. It's cold out here today. Okay, so this is uh, my meal plan for the week. These are some of the main items I have in uh, my pantry. You see I have two boxes of pasta. From when I made that lasagna for my husband's birthday, I have pretty good amount of um, uh, ricotta cheese mix that I froze. I have corn tortillas. I made a pot of fresh beans. I have beans left. I have two cans of spaghetti sauce. I have cans of garbanzos. I got lasagna noodles. Two loaves of bread in the freezer. A half a dozen eggs. I got four boxes of cereal. Um, I have some zucchini, a head of cauliflower, three turkey bacon, a head of lettuce, and hot dogs. And so what I was thinking, um, according to the ad of Food Max, um, I could do like a vegetable lasagna, which will knock off my cauliflower and my zucchini, and then make a side salad with um, some of this lettuce. And then another night with the uh, chicken that I'll be buying at Food Max, um, oh, and I do need rice. I'm out of rice. So I'll be making rice and uh, Food Max. I'll probably insert um, a little clip of the ad from Food Max here. Prices um, this week. And then with leftover chicken, I can make soft chicken tacos because I have, I forgot to put tortillas. I put corn but I have a pack and a half of flour tortillas as well so we can make soft chicken tacos with some green beans and some Mexican rice and then for another night um, with those beans that I have we'll make tostadas and use the corn tortillas and uh, with a side a salad of tomato and cucumber <clears throat> and then because I have all this um, turkey bacon we can have a night of uh, BLTs uh, with fried uh, regular potatoes and sweet potatoes. I made that for breakfast yesterday. Uh, I diced up both sweet and regular potatoes with a little garlic salt and my family really liked it. Um, and then another night um, to use up that pasta, I could do pasta fajol and um, use some of this bread here and do uh, some garlic toast. And then here, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Um, I don't know what we're going to do Christmas, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve. I know for sure we're not going out Christmas Eve. It's too cold. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what, <clears throat> what I come up with on this night. And then these are the things that I'll be needing. I'm only going to get a half a gallon of milk. <clears throat> I do need some cheese. Uh, I need eggs. I'm getting chicken breasts. Um, I may, depending on the price of the beef there, I may get some beef because I know my boys will, my family will get tired of eating chicken every night. 
and then for produce this is what I'll be buying and I do I I just saw my pantry I thought I needed tomato sauce but I think I'll get diced tomatoes instead a can of diced tomatoes and I definitely do need another five pound bag of rice and then um, lunches and breakfast will just be as I go in the morning okay friends here we go I'm here okay friends so um, I'm home everything's been put away and I do apologize I wasn't able to show you uh, what I purchased at the store um, in the car uh, let alone inside my home um, but I mean here is my receipt of what I spent what I purchased there was a few add-ins I think I remembered I needed oil so we're very low in oil um, and I want to ask any of you uh, regarding cooking oil do you buy like the 48 ounces that I normally buy or do you buy like those big old plastic jugs um, that they sell for like eight nine dollars let me know if what's the best way to purchase oil since my husband uses it like every day and then I realized that we needed some salt so I got salt and uh, I don't know if butter was on my list but I decided I better get butter eggs I was gonna get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar but then the Dollar Tree eggs are like the medium size and I find that I'm using more eggs per person so I decided just to bite the bullet and buy these for 215 a dozen uh, large eggs <clears throat> at Food Max because I wasn't gonna go to another store where they had them for a dollar fifty and I only bought a half gallon this is a half gallon of milk 219 and then the um, apples were on sale for 49 cents a pound so I got some of those and the avocados also were on sale and let me see what else Kentucky green beans those were on sale those were a dollar a pound uh, let's see cilantro was three for a dollar Let's see, I can't even make out what these are. These are my onions, I think, and the cucumbers were six for a dollar. Actually, no, cucumbers were five for a dollar. Must have got an extra one. Seed limes. Okay, so that's wrong. I'm actually reading it wrong. I'm not it's not from here down, it's from here up. So three cilantros for a dollar and so Forth. and then the cucumbers are a uh, five for a dollar and the limes were six for a dollar and onions were 68 cents a pound oranges these are oranges 49 cents a pound oh yeah there it is oranges potatoes for a 10 pound bag was 248 let's see the tomatoes were 98 cents a pound yams I got myself a two pound yam yam was pricey okay so here's the chicken breast there's in each pack I think there's four to five chicken breasts foster farms fryers um, this was the price there were 99 cents a pound and then because I had extra room in my budget I added decided to get some sliced up beef which was twelve ninety four for the lomo soltado and some other things I could uh, use, and um, I did get a small pack of turkey for Izzy, and this is shredded cheese. It was cheaper to get it um, this way for five ninety eight versus in the block the small. But anyways, I did um, I did stay under budget. $68.20. I did make a quick stop to, um, I did forget the bell peppers, so I made a quick stop at um, Save Mart and picked up some bell peppers, so that must have cost me maybe a dollar, so about $69, under $70 I spent, which means I do have just a little wiggle room of $5 in case I need anything like produce, 
but overall I did stay within budget and it could be too because I did not go to the sal the salvage grocery store nor did I go to the bakery outlet okay so that's it friends that's my haul I'm sorry I didn't take any pictures or didn't get to show you what I bought but uh, this is my grocery haul and uh, my meal plan for the week okay friends if I don't see you in an another video um have a happy holidays and um have a safe and prosperous new year have a great day friends thank you for watching bye bye